guys welcome back to our channel it's Sophie so I'm back today with a, another tutorial this is the look that I will be recreating for you guys today and we're gonna be trying to come out with daily videos again so if you like this video make sure to keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape and then blending it out and setting it with translucent powder. Then I'm going into my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13 on my brow bone. And I'm going to be using Makeup Geek shadows today. The first shadow that I went in with is called Chickadee. And I am doing a rounder shaped eyeshadow today. And then I'm going in with Morocco. I'm just going in with an angled brush and starting to carve the crease. Now I'm going in with this Tarte Clay Pot in the color Unicorn Kisses and I'm going to be using this product all over the lid. I love using these Tarte Clay Pot um, colors to kind of carve the lid out because they're just so pigmented and they dry so well. And then I'm going in with uh, Pegasus by Makeup Geek all over the lid on top of that Tarte clay pot and then I'm applying chickadee on the inner and outer corners with this very small domed brush. Now I'm going in with this um, glitter by Girlactic and it's called Blue Sparkles I believe. Now I'm going in with my Tarte um, double take liner for my winged liner and I will be doing a tutorial on how I achieve my winged liner very soon so stay tuned for that. For lashes today, I'm using a style that has not been released yet, so stay tuned for that as well. And I just applied my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil to my waterline, and now I'm going in with more of that Tarte Clay Pot to set a nice base just so that the color is super pigmented. And then I applied more of that Pegasus eyeshadow by Makeup Geek over top of the clay pot. And then I'm going in with some Chickadee just to add a little bit of a transition to the lower lash line. And then I applied some Morocco by Makeup Geek on an angled brush very close to my waterline. I'm repeating the same exact steps that I did on the lid to the lower lash line. So I just topped it off with that glitter. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Lash Paint Mascara. And now I'm just going in with that Pegasus eyeshadow and a fluffier brush and just buffing that into the inner tear duct uh, area. And then I'm going to top it off with some of my Makeup Forever Starlight Powder on the inner corner just to add a little bit more dimension. And I love the way that this look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!